You see, the reason we're here tonight really is because of St. Patrick, the 5th century Irish priest, the patron saint of Ireland who single-handedly converted the Emerald Isle from paganism to Christianity. He also founded the Celtic Christian Church, even planting churches in the British Isles that influenced our own Christian heritage. He is the patron saint for all who value our Celtic Christian roots, as we do here tonight. By the way, this is the St. Patrick pub jam band something or other. Um, so, uh, so every year in mid-March, about this time, we gather to celebrate the spirit of his life with a pub night like this one. It's an Anselm thing, so... But now Patrick's life story is both the stuff of history and legend. Many, many legends. But this we do know for sure. Patrick was raised in a religious home but did not follow Christ as a young man. And at age 16, after Rome had abandoned Britain, Irish raiders invaded his coastal home and took him into slavery. And while working as a shepherd in Ireland, he became a Christian. And after six years, he received a message from God in a dream to return to Britain. So he walked 200 miles across Ireland to the coast and took a boat back to safety with his family. But then God gave him another vision, calling him to return to Ireland to convert the pagans there to Christ. And that call would become his mission for the rest of his life. So we wanted to include in the program tonight a Celtic Irish song about St. Patrick. Ah, it is a grand idea, only a problem. We couldn't find a good one. <laughs> So I took it on to write one. And for the melody, I chose a beloved Irish folk tune, the star of the county down that had caught my musical imagination. Later, I discovered the serendipity that Patrick is buried in county down. And as for the lyrics, a triad of stanzas seemed appropriate as a reminder of St. Patrick's commitment to the Trinity in his ministry. So I will run one for each stanza, of, one stanza for each part of his story, his youth, his return to Ireland, and his mission to bring Christ to the Iris. So I hope you enjoy the ballad of St. Patrick. Just a lad carefree, but wild was he when Patrick was stolen away. Over pirate waves to become a slave alone, but to work and pray. Till keeping sheep one night by sleep, in a vision an answer came. Look and see your ship, ready for a trip, arise, no more remain. Taken from his own to a land unknown, back home and then back again. Call to Ireland, saw for the grace of God. Now with Patrick we say, Amen. Walking weeks alone, across the sand and lone, and sailing the Irish Sea. To his parents' arms, safe from pagan harm, still a vision again he'd see. An Irish man, letters in his hand, pleading, come back to help us, please. Patrick struggled hard, but he turned his heart to return and to give them peace. Taken from his own to a land unknown, back home and then back again. All to Ireland, sorry for the grace of God, now with Patrick we say amen. First the high king's son by the gospel one gave a barn where a church was born. For the slave and free where the trinity was taught and grace was shown. Then to each priest who would charge to preach he would leave with a parish bell. For a call to prayer of the Christian fair for Patrick had been taught them well. Taken from his own to a land unknown, back home and back again. All to Ireland sought for the grace of God, and with that he would say amen again. Taken from his own to a land unknown, back home and back again. All to Ireland sought for the grace of God. Ireland 
sigh for the grace of God. Now with Patrick we say, Amen.